Damn it. No one finished it off yet. Good morning, folks, and welcome to uh, the workshop. Yeah, um, really excited to get this space. Uh, if you don't know about the space, go check out the video over on John and Mandy's channel. Um, we did a little vlog about moving in here and um, and why we've moved in here is explained over on that channel too. Um, but on this channel, we just get to work. So you might have actually missed yesterday that we got the flooring down in the van. So the floor is 25 mil um, and it's that, um, you know, insulation board stuff. Sellotex, Kingspan, whatever you want to call it. On top of that is 12 mil plywood. Um, and they're both stuck down using nothing more than <clears throat> Sikaflex 522. Um, and then on top of that is Altro flooring, which is really hard wearing. Um, and that is glued down to the top, just using uh, spray glue. So that's all sorted out. What we need to do now is go through the van and make all this silver stuff carry on everywhere else. Um, just basically putting it over the beams. So if you look there, um, I'm not doing everywhere. I'm just putting it across the beams um, just so that when I put all the insulation to it and um, the final panels, you know, the uh, the wall panels, uh, they don't squeak or chafe or um, it's not going to rub and cause rust behind it or anything like that. Um, so that's why I'm doing that. So, yeah, excited to have the unit. The van fits in. Uh, it's pushed all the way back at the moment. Just so we've got a bit of a workspace area at the front. Um, but obviously there's enough room to get everything sorted out. I'm pretty much done on the roof anyway, so I don't need that much space on there. I've got to fit some light and CCTV cameras, but obviously that can wait. Uh, for now, I am more interested in uh, getting the interior done. So the panels are done and the insulation, the roof's done. So I can start building the interior. More importantly, I can put a bed in it so I can sleep in it. Because, um, yeah, we can stay in the unit as well. Um, it's got water, got a little kitchen area and a toilet and stuff like that. So, right, less chatty, more dewy. One thing that is really funny right now is trying to get in and out of the van. Let me just show you how big it is right now. Bear in mind, there's no sort of uh, spring kit, lift kit or anything like that. But the floor is level with my knee. So I've lost the whole bottom leg. <laughs> so getting in and out is a little bit tricky, more so for Mandy. So uh, one of the first deliveries to the new workshop is gonna be a little step to get in and out. So I'm just removing the window blinds um, from the actual windows, because the window blinds sit on the internal side of the internal panels. So when you fit the panel, <clears throat> there's more cutting out. When you fit the panel, I'm gonna to have to go open the window, go on the other side of the window, mark around, like roughly on the inside of the internal panel where the window is, um, and then cut that out from the panel <laughs> and then you screw the actual blinds to the panel that's actually you know the Solway internal panel so it all finishes it off nicely right just a reminder because last time I think I confused people um, this stuff the silver stuff is just the bubble wrap silver on a foil on a roll sort of thing and most of you call that a vapour barrier, so I may have called it a vapour barrier stuff, but I'm not using a vapour barrier. Um, I'm using this across all the beams and the joints and everywhere where my ceiling panels or the wall panels are going to butt up to. Because uh, that way, apparently, you don't get any chafing, any squeaking, um, things fit better. So I'm, I'm going to take the advice of why people do it that way. And because I don't like squeaks and rattles and that, I figured well, that's a pretty good idea. So yeah, I'm going to just basically go around, put the silver foil, um, bubble wrap stuff over all the places where I need to fill in, essentially. So like I need to put the um, uh, insulation board on the roof still. Um, I've got lights, obviously, roof vents, um, like the Max fans with lights that are going to come on them. So there's certain bits of wiring I'm trying to feed in as I do it, as well as going down the sides. Um, and as well as going across to the other side of the van. So as I go now, if it's easier to put cabling in, I'm going to put cabling in. Uh, bear in mind, all the panels that are going to be fitted are going to be removable. So it's not like tongue and groove where you've got, you know, like four meter lengths with 38 million screws and they're all interconnected. If I need to get behind a panel, I can just unscrew the panel, take it off. Get behind it, fix it, upgrade it, you know, add new cables, whatever, put it back in, job's done. So that's the beauty of the panels for me, 
is that the upgrade possibility um, to add more cabling when I need to or whatever um, is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm going to carry on. I've got one tin of glue left because um, we used a lot of glue yesterday to stick the top layer of the flooring down, the Altro flooring. So I've got one tin left. My Amazon order is in and Amazon should be arriving within the next oops, ooh, three hours. Um, and then until then, I'll just have to take up other jobs and stuff because I really want to try and get the majority of this done. I'm just removing these bolts at the top here because my first panel's going on, my first Solway panel's going on. I've finished elongating the holes in this now because the doors wouldn't shut properly. So I've got some little drill extenders to extend the holes. Which means my back door shut properly, which is always a good thing. <laughs> so, let's get the panel, see if it fits. So we were told to fit this one first at this end um, so that you lay the roof and everything, the ceiling, over that. So that essentially is all hidden then. It's held up by the bolts for the rear door uh, latches and it also sits just behind this rubber as well. So it's a bit of a, a manipulation task now. To make sure the holes line up get the holes lined up and then bolted in so there we go solway panel in the first one um, and obviously everything from this point on goes backwards that way that's gone in first so the ceiling sits against it as in you push the ceiling up so it's kind of lost behind there and then you go that way and strangely enough at the front you come that way so somewhere in the middle is where we have to do the specialized jointing uh, but this one uh, to adjust and elongate the holes so the bracket sits further inside the van so the door closes and then the other door closes tight enough that the seal comes together so they now totally seal they're fine what was happening before is this top of the door couldn't come in enough because of where this was latched so there was a gap at the top there and um, it rained and got my ply wet. Right, so first panel's on, I've got the bottom panels fitted, um, but I'm just fettling with the first panel at the top. I've not fitted any of the stuff yet, I just wanted to see what it sounded like. So I've not fastened it in other than at the bottom. So if that's fastened there, you would then have screws at the top and bottom, but still, unless you put screws everywhere, you're going to get that rattling so I guess now that's why they said to put this on everywhere so I just need to finish the doors off with the silver foil and then once I've done the doors then I'll get this mounted I have to fettle it a bit around the door handle but they do say that this whole panel mold and everything was based on I think it's a 2015 or 2016 van so mine's a 2018 possibly 2017 2018 2019 um, they may well have changed a few tiny things, so some fettling um, is expected, they say. So I was warned of this, each panel is going to roughly fit and you'll just need to fettle it around the edges or whatever, so I'm fine with that. Um, obviously that's the look I'm after when it's all finished and nice and neat. Uh, when I do that side, obviously I'm going to have to cut out for my door. But yeah, let's just step back a few steps and get these doors covered with the bubble wrap and a bit more insulation around if I can as well um, so that when that dish closes against it it's all all right quite impressed with them though are the uh, all gonna look all right so I won't show you every door or every panel but roughly obviously that's what I'm doing so um, I am basically filling in all the gaps of metal and everywhere that that panel could touch against metal um, like the metal frame i've covered in the um the bubble wrap stuff as well so as much as this is a, a, a nasty way to end the video um this is the end of this video um, i will come back obviously and show you all the others done which will probably be the next video i'll do all the panels in the next video um but yeah i am just knackered now like i say it's really late um so i'm probably doing about 14 hours today <sighs> 
So yeah, need a bit of kip. There's a storm raging outside as well, um, which in here makes no difference. But out there, which is where Bumble is, and the bedroom with Mandy sitting in there all toasty with the heater on, um, we're going to have to put up with a storm tonight. So hopefully I'll get a good night's kip anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that you're loving these panels and everything just as much as me and can see why it was well worth the money um, and certainly well worth the, the effort just to fettle in like the handle and stuff like that um, just to get it finished off and it looks like that. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. So there we go, folks. Back doors. Smashed it. <laughs>